Hi, in this video I want to show what Impostors package is and how it works. Let's start with a quick demonstration. That's how you ideally want your scene to look. Let's look at the polygon and draw call count. In the current scene we have more than 8 million triangles and about 9000 draw calls, which is quite a lot. What we can do to optimize this scene is to decrease LOD BIOS in the project's quality settings. This way objects at distance will be cooled by Unity. We can decrease this value to some reasonable number. Now scene looks empty, but we got relatively good performance. So we increased performance by decreasing visual quality. But we can dramatically change this situation by using impostors. Let's run optimize scene command. And now we can see that scene filled with tons of objects. If we look at the stats, the triangles and draw call count are in a reasonable range and we got pretty much the same visual quality as before. What this command did is it added an impostor load group component on top of each unity's built-in load group component, so that object becomes imposter at some distance from the camera. We can see the difference by using enable and disable commands in the imposter tools menu. That's how scene looks with and without imposters. I can prove that objects are turned into imposters by enabling debug mode. Now all imposters are tinted with debug color which you can change depending on your preferences. Now let's look at the scene that comes with the Impostors package. Let's pause our game and enable debug mode for Impostors. By enabling this checkbox we can also see Impostors in the scene view. Let's also remove debug color and force Impostors to face the camera by increasing this value. Now we can clearly see imposter and understand how it works. Basically, we take photo of an object and then show this photo instead of the original object. This way we don't render complex geometry every frame and just simply draw this cheap quad. From the side it doesn't look right, but from the camera's perspective everything looks natural. Unfortunately, we can't show the same photo all the time. When camera moves, the photo needs an update. We will call this an imposter update. In the scene view, we can see how imposters are getting updated. Now comes the part about limitations. Because of the need to update imposter texture whenever the camera moves, we can lose the performance boost provided by imposters. If in your project camera moves really fast relative to objects, then maybe imposter are not for you. It really depends on your particular situation. It's important to mention that we are in complete control of the amount of imposter updates. We can limit the updates count performed at each frame. We can change condition that cause the imposter update, such as direction delta or distance delta. The bigger these values are, the less frequently imposter will be updated. And we can control when object turns into imposter just like in the load group component. Final note, I already have a similar asset on the asset store, with a 5 star rating, but things have changed since it launched 2 years ago. And now I am releasing a next generation of this asset. New version utilizes the jobs and birth packages, to greatly improve performance compared to previous version. It uses the new Mesh API, introduced with Unity version 2019.3. Also, the new package supports virtual reality and scriptable render pipelines. If you have any further question, visit the forum page. Link in the description. Thank you for watching. Cheers!